Hello, young scientists. Are you ready to embark on an exciting journey through the human body? Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of muscles. These incredible tissues are responsible for almost every movement we make. Muscles are like the body's amazing moving machines. They contract and relax to create motion, allowing us to perform a wide range of activities. They help us run, jump, dance, and even smile. Imagine trying to do any of these things without muscles. It would be impossible. Without muscles, we wouldn't be able to do much at all. Even the simplest tasks, like lifting a pencil or blinking, would be beyond our reach. So, let's explore these incredible tissues and learn how they work. Muscles are made up of tiny fibers that work together to produce force and movement. Muscles are everywhere in our body, from our heads to our toes. They are part of the muscular system, which includes over 600 muscles. They come in different shapes and sizes, each with a special job to do. Some muscles are designed for power, while others are built for precision. Some muscles are big and strong, like the ones in our legs that help us walk, run and jump. These muscles are essential for activities that require strength and endurance. Others are small and precise, like the muscles in our eyes that help us focus. These tiny muscles allow us to see clearly and track moving objects. No matter their size, all muscles work together to keep our bodies moving and grooving. They coordinate with each other to perform complex movements and maintain our posture. Whether we're playing sports, practicing yoga, or just having fun with friends, our muscles are always hard at work. So let's give a big cheer for our amazing muscles and all they do for us. Have you ever wondered what muscles are made of? Well, muscles are made up of special cells called muscle fibers. These fibers are like long, thin threads bundled together. Each fiber contains even tinier parts called myofibrils. Myofibrils are like tiny motors within the muscle fibers. They contain proteins called actin and myosin, which are arranged in a specific pattern. When a muscle receives a signal from the brain, these proteins slide past each other, causing the muscle fiber to shorten or contract. This contraction is what makes a muscle move. Imagine you're lifting a heavy book. When you lift the book, the muscles in your arm contract or shorten to generate force. This force allows you to overcome the weight of the book and lift it up. When you put the book down, the muscles in your arm relax or lengthen, allowing the book to lower slowly. This process of contraction and relaxation is how muscles work to create movement. Muscles always work in pairs, with one muscle contracting while the other relaxes. This teamwork allows for smooth and controlled movements. Isn't it fascinating how our muscles work together like a well-coordinated team? Did you know that there are different types of muscles in our body? It's fascinating how our body is designed with such complexity and precision. Yes, it's true. We have three main types of muscles, skeletal, smooth, and cardiac. Each of these muscle types plays a crucial role in our daily lives and overall health. Each type has a unique structure and function. Understanding these differences can help us appreciate how our bodies work and how to take better care of them. Skeletal muscles are the ones we can control consciously. These muscles are what we typically think of when we talk about muscles. They are attached to our bones by tendons and are responsible for voluntary movements like walking, talking and writing. Without skeletal muscles, we wouldn't be able to perform any of these actions. Smooth muscles, on the other hand, are found in the walls of our internal organs like the stomach, intestines and blood vessels. These muscles are essential for the functioning of our internal systems. They work automatically without our conscious control, helping with digestion, blood flow regulation and other important bodily functions. Imagine not having to think about digesting your food or regulating your blood pressure. Smooth muscles take care of that for us. Lastly, cardiac muscle is a special type of muscle found only in the heart. This muscle is incredibly strong and resilient. It works tirelessly to pump blood throughout our body, keeping us alive. The cardiac muscle never rests, ensuring that oxygen and nutrients are delivered to every part of our body. Truly, our muscles are marvels of nature. Section 5. Skeletal Muscles, Your Body's Movers and Shakers Let's learn more about skeletal muscles. The muscles we use for all sorts of activities. Skeletal muscles are attached to our bones by strong fibrous cords called tendons. When a skeletal muscle contracts, it pulls on the bone causing movement at a joint. Skeletal muscles are responsible for a wide range of movements, from simple actions like blinking our eyes to complex movements like playing a sport or dancing. Skeletal muscles are also important for maintaining our posture, supporting our joints, and generating heat to keep our bodies warm. 
They are incredibly adaptable and can become stronger with regular exercise. So keep moving and grooving to keep those skeletal muscles strong and healthy. Section 6. Smooth Muscles Working Behind the Scenes While skeletal muscles steal the show with their visible movements, smooth muscles are the unsung heroes working tirelessly behind the scenes. Smooth muscles are found in the walls of our internal organs, including the digestive system, respiratory system, urinary system, and blood vessels. These muscles are responsible for a wide range of involuntary functions, such as moving food through the digestive tract, controlling blood pressure, and regulating airflow in the lungs. Smooth muscles contract and relax more slowly than skeletal muscles, allowing them to sustain contractions for longer periods. They are essential for maintaining our internal balance and keeping our bodies functioning properly. Section 7. Cardiac Muscle The Heart's Hard Worker The heart, the engine of our body, has its own dedicated muscle, the cardiac muscle. Cardiac muscle is a truly remarkable tissue. It never gets tired, working continuously throughout our lives to pump blood throughout our body. The cardiac muscle has a unique striated appearance similar to skeletal muscle, but it functions involuntarily like smooth muscle. It contracts rhythmically, generating the force needed to propel blood through our circulatory system. The heart is a vital organ, and the cardiac muscle plays a crucial role in keeping it beating strong and steady. Section 8. Fun Facts Muscles are superstars. Now that we've learned about the different types of muscles, let's uncover some fun facts about these incredible tissues. The smallest muscle in our body is the stapedius muscle, located in the middle ear. It's only about the size of a grain of rice. The strongest muscle in our body, relative to its size, is the masseter muscle, responsible for chewing. We use more muscles to frown than to smile. Muscles can't push, they can only pull. Regular exercise helps our muscles grow stronger and healthier. These are just a few examples of the amazing capabilities of our muscular system. Muscles are truly remarkable tissues that deserve our appreciation and care. Section 9. Ace your exams. Muscle up your knowledge. Understanding the muscular system is essential for excelling in your exams, especially in biology and health sciences. The muscular system is a complex network that allows us to move, maintain posture, and circulate blood throughout our bodies. By delving into this topic, you not only prepare yourself for academic success, but also gain a deeper appreciation for how your body functions. By grasping the basic anatomy and physiology of muscles, you'll be well equipped to answer questions about muscle types, functions, and mechanisms of contraction. This includes understanding how muscles work in pairs to create movement, the role of tendons in connecting muscles to bones, and the importance of muscle fibers in generating force. Remember to study the different types of muscles, their locations, and their specific roles in the body. For instance, skeletal muscles are responsible for voluntary movements, while smooth muscles control involuntary actions like digestion. Cardiac muscles, on the other hand, are specialized for heart contractions and their specific roles in the body. Each muscle type has unique characteristics and functions that are crucial for maintaining overall health and well-being. Understanding these differences can help you answer exam questions more accurately and with greater confidence. Pay attention to the key terms and concepts such as muscle contraction, muscle fatigue, and muscle hypertrophy. These terms often appear in exam questions and understanding them can give you an edge. Use flashcards, diagrams, and other study aids to reinforce your learning. And don't hesitate to ask your teacher or classmates for clarification if needed. Group study sessions can be particularly helpful for discussing complex topics and sharing different perspectives. Don't be afraid to engage in discussions and ask questions to deepen your understanding. Learning about the muscular system is not only crucial for exams, but also for understanding how our bodies move and function. This knowledge is applicable in everyday life, from improving your athletic performance to understanding how to prevent injuries. It also provides a foundation for future studies in fields like medicine, physiotherapy, and sports science. So, embrace the fascinating world of muscles and take the time to explore this intricate system. The more you learn, the more you'll appreciate the incredible capabilities of the human body. This enthusiasm will not only help you in your exams, but also inspire a lifelong interest in health and science. And watch your knowledge and exam scores soar. With dedication and the right study techniques, you can master the muscular system and achieve academic success. Keep pushing forward, stay curious, 
and enjoy the journey of learning.